Hi, in this clip we will try to count the label trees. So this is an example of a label tree. Uh, it's, a, it's a tree with um, label nodes. Okay, so we want to count label tree where uh, the number of nodes, number of nodes, nodes n is n. Okay, as we uh, discussed in class. Uh, in this case, for a tree with n nodes, uh, the number of edges equals n minus one. Okay. Um, in class, we discuss uh, the relationship between uh, uh, the number of objects and the number of objects that we want to count, right? And the number of possible representation or encoding right representations and what a few uh, some of the example is that uh, we can encode any label tree with the uh, parent code parent code okay so uh, that is uh, we we root the tree at node zero, okay, and we after the tree is rooted, uh, edges has uh, edges have directions, right, and we direct every edge uh, going out of uh, node zero, okay, and we call this node a uh, parent and this node a child, okay, and then we to uh, encode this tree. We uh, we 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 uh, fill in this table. So we have a node, and we have the parent of that node. Okay. So we ha look at node one, and what's the parent of node one? It's node zero. We look at node two. What's the parent of node two? That's node one, right? What's the parent of node three? It's node five. The parent of node four is also node five parent of node 5 is node 1 parent of node 6 is node 2 and parent of node 7 is node 0 okay and then we have two lines okay we can represent uh, label trees uh, with um, uh, numbers uh, I in in two lines each line contains n minus 1 numbers each number okay is from 0 to n minus 1 right note that uh, the first line is always 1 2 3 4 5 uh, up to n minus 1 right 0 to n minus uh, 1 to n minus 1 so uh, for any codes uh, the first line are are the same so in fact the actual information are, are in here okay since uh, each so how many possible codes are there for this parent for, for parent code for to, to encode a tree of uh, n nodes so each number can be from 0 to n minus 1 so n choices and there are n minus 1 of them okay so the number of the total number of representation is uh, this, and we know that um, if we have a different trees, it will have uh, different representation as well. So this number into the n minus one is the upper bound on number of label tree. Okay. All right. So that's that's the that's a simple code. It's called parent code. It gives you uh, this upper bound. In fact, uh, it's it's a pretty close one. Okay. Uh, we know that uh, the correct uh, number of of trees from the uh, Cayley Cayley theorem. Kelly theorem states that the number of label trees with n node is n to the n minus two. Okay, so this is pretty close, it's off by a factor of n. Okay, 
So in this lecture, we'll discuss another another code called the proofer code. Proofer code, and uh, proofer code can uh, is more concise than the parent code, and we'll see that it actually gives the proof of the uh, the Cayley theorem. All right, so let's. Uh, Let's see uh, by uh, an example. All right, uh, proof of code is um, it's pretty much like uh, parent code, but uh, we will try to order it, okay, in such a way that in the end, so 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 pa parent codes are, are are pretty good, okay, because you have n minus one numbers. If we want to get uh, n to the n minus two. We somehow need to uh, remove, at least uh, reduce this from n minus one to n minus two. Okay, so somehow we we would try to get rid of the last number. Um, all right. Uh, to do that, uh, proof of code uh, to to produce a proof of code of of a given label trees, we would uh, use different ordering. Okay, okay. We not we not gonna list the parents according to the nodes number. Uh, like one, two, three, four, five. But we will start. We'll just look at the 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 tree itself. Okay. Um, the way we're gonna do that is that we will start with uh, we we'll start with the leaves. Okay. So the leaves are nodes with uh, degree one. Okay. Okay, and we first uh, pick the leaf with the minimum level. Okay. Uh, so in this case, you have uh, how many leaves do we have? Four leaves, and this is the leaf with the minimum label. Okay, we would just uh, take it and we write down. Okay, so pick the leaf with the so steps. Let me write it down here. Pick leaf with minimum label. And also, this leaf cannot be zero. Okay, no zero. At some point, no zero might become a leaf. So we do not pick it. Okay, so pick the leaf with the minimum level. So in this case, this case when we start, uh, it's three. So we list three, and its parent five. Okay, and after that, we we kill it. Okay, now let's pick another leaf with the minimum level. So you have. Uh, seven, six, four. So let's give off four. So let's put four here, and its parent is still five. Now um, the leaves are seven, six, and now five becomes a leaf, right? So it's the candidate for us. So we pick the minimum uh, label leaf. So we pick five, so pick five, and put in its parent, which is one, and kill it off. Okay. Then uh, seven and six. Right, so uh, we're gonna pick six. So you write six and two. Okay, now uh, the leaves are seven and two. Uh, since two is smaller than seven, so we we pick two. So we write two and then one, and then delete two. And uh, seven and one, so one is smaller, so take one and zero. Now we're left with seven and zero. Zero is is the root, right? So it's not gonna be a leaf. So we put uh, seven, Q of seven, put seven and zero. Okay, so this is the uh, so how many columns do we have? For each columns correspond to one edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, edge, seven edges. Okay, and because we have uh, eight nodes. Okay, so this is the node. So this is the parent. So we're gonna call this. This is not exactly the proof of code, but it's a proof of code with some extra information. So we we'll call this the extended proof of code. Proof of code. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, a few observations uh, before we we will prove some, some th something is that uh, since we're not gonna delete zero, okay. The last node, the last parent will, that will be available is going to be, it's going to be zero. Okay, so in this table, the last 
uh, the last parent is going to be zero. Okay. So if you look at the list of parents that are not that that's not the last one, you have n minus two numbers. Okay. So so proof of code will be just this uh, n minus two numbers. Okay. Now the thing to another thing to notice is that uh, the first line. Okay. Uh, in the parent code, if you compare this with the proof of code, in the parent code we can pretty easily remove the first line because we know that it's going to be one, two, three, four, up to n minus one. But for proof of code, uh, the first line is not is not order according to 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 the node labels. Um, so it's not quite clear. We can throw it away, okay? But actually, we will throw it away. So the code will be uh, this, this, the second line, and this, the first line we, we will throw it away. But then, in the next uh, clip, we will discuss about this. Okay, we will show that the first line. Th we 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 we'll describe the reason why we can throw away the first line. In short, uh, if we know the second line, we can reconstruct the first line pretty easily. Um, all right, so that's why we can. So the the first line doesn't add any inf information to the code. Or to the represent uh, to the representation of the tree, so um, so we can write down the proof of code with n minus two numbers, okay. And in the end of this uh, lecture, uh, this this clips um, th this series of clips, we will we'll, we'll, we'll discuss why this implies that, and I think you can uh, figure it out yourself as well, right? All right. So next clip, we'll we'll try to uh, we'll discuss on this, okay, about the first row. All right. Okay, see you.